evening. My name is Norman Beckles, and you're here at Up All Night. We're going to be up from now until 6 a.m. Can you stay up with us? I'm not sure if you can or not, but I think you ought to try. We've got a lot of special things going on tonight. We have a lot of special guests. We're going to have prizes and surprises. So what you want to do is you want to do like myself, get yourself something to drink, get yourself something to eat, and sit back and relax and watch Up All Night here on WCAT. Now we're going to start off the first part of tonight with a part that we call Vanity Place. And the way Vanity Place is going to work is you can call in from home, give one of our phone operators a message, and we'll put the message up on the screen. So for example, if there's somebody you want to say hello to, you can say, you know, hi to this person from that person. You just call in, give us that message. We'll put it up on the screen. Maybe you didn't get a chance to tell somebody something uh, on Valentine's Day. Well, you'll get that chance now. So you want to call us at 846-3400 with your message, and we'll put it up on the screen. Call your friends, tell them to turn on the set, then call us back, give us the message, and we'll put it up on the screen. We've got Video Scavenger Hunt coming up in just a little while where you'll get a chance to win some great prizes. So you want to stay with us all night long. So here we're going to start up all night. First part with vanity plates. And as I said, you want to call us back at 846-3400 with a message. And we'll put it up on the screen. You're watching Up All Night. of the show, you can call up the station at 846-3400 and uh, tell people what you think. Has your car been buried by snow? Are you freezing cold? Do you have no money because you're still paying off your Christmas card bills? You want to say hi to a loved one you can't see tonight? Give us a call and we'll send you a message. 846-3400. You're watching Vanity Point.
Also add fog. Now, fog does not normally ha doesn't have to necessarily be outside. It can be uh, you can get a nice underwater effect, and that's what I'm going to do now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to actually turn on the fog. I'm going to make it the same color as the as the ocean color itself. Okay. And so now, when we do our picture, it'll be a little bit cloudy, okay. and that will give us an even better feel for being underwater. Hmm. Okay, so coming up later on, we have arcade games. We're going to, be, we're going to actually show some of the hottest arcade games. We're also going to be doing uh, live tarot card reading. As you know, we've got some more surprises and prizes coming up. So you want to stay right with us. We're going to be here now, not just, you know, not just me and Fernando. We're going to have a lot of other stuff coming up between now and 6 a.m. So if you're an insomniac or, you know, you've got Monday off from school and you just want to just... Not this, this, you know, you want to watch this show because there's going to be all kinds of things in here tonight that people are going to be talking about, I would say, for months. Oh, definitely. Okay, so you want to watch this here now. Okay, if you have a question about any of this and you want to ask a question, please call us at 846-3400. Uh, I know we have somebody answering the phone because it stops ringing after a while, and they'll bring those messages over to us. Oh, we know somebody's answering. Yeah, we know somebody's answering. And... Now here we have that same scene, but see now it looks a go. little foggy, yep. and now it looks like it's underwater. Nice and diffuse. So now what I'm going to do now is I actually have uh, this animation that I'm going to play. And here we go here, and it's called Sub, by the way. Sub 2. It's going to take a, a, just about a second for it to load right. in. But you can come down and take a course here. I don't know if you've seen these. Okay, here we go. It's become a computer artist. No experience necessary. It's a computer art class taught here at WCAT. Uh, Thursday night, starting March 3rd. So you have a chance to, to still sign up. March 3rd at 7.30 for eight weeks uh, for only $45. And that is funded in part by the Winthrop Cultural Council. Okay, it was very nice of them to, to help out with that. And if you want to register for that, you want to call on Tuesday. Uh, or actually, you can call tonight because we'll be here until 6 a.m. Uh, at 846-3400 if you want to sign up. And this class will go over some two-dimensional art, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, as well as this three-dimensional art, which is what we're talking about now. And you'll be able to uh, find out how to do that. And again, you don't have to uh, have any experience or any equipment because the equipment's actually here. All you can do is come on down. Pay your forty-five dollars, and for eight weeks, you will learn how to do all of this stuff. This is a major piece of equipment here, too. I That's mean, right. Yeah, this is very expensive. Now here, here it comes there. Uh huh. Look, look at that. Yep. That's just using that same texture that we had earlier. Mm -hmm. And the blue. That's great. And you also can do different formats. This is actually letterbox format. I didn't have to do anything. I can just say uh, create it in letterbox format. And it goes off into the fog as well. It goes off into the fog, point. right. I mean, I know we've been talking about you know, Sequest and Babylon 5, which are certainly the two most major uses of this. Mm -hmm. But there are some other uses that I don't think a lot of people are aware of. Um, for anybody who's a Star Trek fan or saw Star Trek 6, this was used to do all the displays on the bridge. That's correct. And... Um, and uh, Steven Spielberg, when he made Jurassic Park, used the video toys to, to produce actual animated storyboards That's for correct. the more complex scenes. Like the, for anybody who saw Jurassic Park, the kitchen scene where the velociraptors were running through the kitchen. 
Yeah, it, you don't have to be able to even draw your own your own mm -hmm. object. Uh, you'll be able to. Um, you don't have to be able to draw your own objects. You can you can buy some of these objects. You make some of these objects. And here we go. Here, so now we're back in. Mm -hmm. So we want to, we can cut back now to the actual screen. We can cut cut back. There we go. Okay. And I happen to have all these different objects and different scenes. And let me load a scene. And here are my Jurassic scene. And we'll take now the the Tyrannosaurus Rex running. Okay. And he actually runs over a series of uh, about 48 frames, meaning his feet coming up and down will, uh, over 48 frames or, or a panel will look like he's running. And the computer's actually loading those all in now. You notice those bones we were talking about right. earlier, those are used. And there we are there. Now yeah. to actually get an idea of what he looks like running, let's actually do a little quick animation. Okay. Okay. Now, if we want to actually, let's actually take a view from the camera. If we okay. want to actually make him walk across the screen. Let's, let's do another one here real quick. There's at home, just turned in. You'll notice there's the bones and the, t and the busy means it's actually doing it. Bones in the top of the head, through the body, through the tail, right. for the feet and claws. And you'll notice it's running in a circle, but we can't tell. If you look at the numbers in the bottom of the screen, it just starts again at zero. And it's done like that so you can make it run over a period of time. They right. say, well, that doesn't look like that. It's in a box format because it's wireframe format so that we don't have to wait a long time. Right. When I stop moving, the computer now says, okay, well, let me draw what it actually looks like. And in fact, let's, um, let's show the redraw because that's sometimes a little easier. And you can see this uh, on something like this, there's a lot of points, mm -hmm. there's a lot of polygons, and that also uh, increases the amount of time that it takes uh, for the item to uh, actually draw on the screen. Now what we're going to do in a little bit, because it does take a long, uh, long period of time to actually draw this, we're going to set up a little scene and then we're going to actually start it. And although it takes an hour or two, hey, we're going to be here until 6 a.m. So you'll be able to, to see what it looks like uh, afterwards. So that is uh, just yet another reason. Okay, so there he is there. Okay, and to make him actually run, all we have to do is, remember our first scene, that's where right. he is. And now we'll go to the object there. Okay, now we're going to actually go to our last frame, which is 48, mm -hmm. and then I just need to move it. Uh, in this case, I think I'll just say, uh, let's see, not, not the Y, I'll just move it forward like that. Okay. And then I can just do my little wireframe again, and then you see if that looks right. And it should actually move over that period of frame. Actually, it looks like we've got too, too many. Uh, we need to have it be on the first and the last one, so I actually need to delete that. Okay. All right, so there's our first frame mm -hmm. and our last frame there. Now it should, should move forward as it's doing that. That's a little jumpy there, but I think you get the, the basic gist of it here, but you can actually just move those back and forth. Hmm. Okay, we had somebody uh, call in and ask, um, actually a similar question that you asked, which is how do you actually get it out of the machine onto tape? These pictures are very, very big, and we're using a device called a DCTV. And what the DCTV does is, is it it has a special circuit in it which allows us to take very high resolution pictures with a lot of colors mm -hmm. 
and allows us to, so for example, let's load in a DCTV picture here. Um, let's see here, a car. Mm -hmm. We'll load in a little car here. Now this output now, the output that we were looking at before was okay, but this is, this is actually 16 million color output. And I'll show you why we're able to get 16 million colors out of it. This is a picture of my car, which is parked out front with the keys in it. You, um, can't, you can't take that as a prize, though. No, you can't. No. And I'm going to turn a little bit knob and back it. That's what the computer, can we, can we show that out there? That's what the computer thinks it's showing. This box is converting that information very, very quickly and turning it into 16 million colors. And we actually have, this is actually a paint program where we can actually cut and paste and pick things up. Thank you very much. You can actually cut and paste and pick things up. There's a, a section of the car. You can also do some pretty phenomenal things that you, you couldn't normally do. For example, if I want to get the shade of this windshield, all I have to do is put my cursor there, or this little block, push a button, and you'll see over here in the white section here, over here on the, on the left, I'll actually get that color. That is actually whatever that color is. And then I can paint with that color if I so choose to. So for example, I could say, give me this color here, and paint with that, give me that color there, paint with that, give me this color here. And even though there's millions and millions of colors, so you can actually touch pictures up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to bring another picture in right now. So it's sort of like uh, just video airbrushing. Right. And great. you can do uh, uh, some amazing things with it. Uh, for example, Yeah, now somebody call and ask what the cost of the computers are. The, these, the Amigas, and uh, which is what I would suggest if you're going to do a lot of this type of video work, they start as low as like $150. And they go up now, you, know, you can do some of the things that I'm doing for the $150, and a lot of times the difference in price merely is that it takes longer for such and such a picture to actually, to, to actually draw. Uh, what I usually like to do with this picture is, is show you what my father looks like. And the way we do that is we put this up near my forehead and I push the button and now I get that color. And essentially what we're going to do here is on a, on a paint. There we go. And that, that's essentially what my dad looks like and what I can look forward to. You can zoom in. For example, let's do a little, let's do a little zoom in here. Okay. And you can get closer or farther away. In more detail this way? Yeah. So for example, um, let's take the red and do my eyes here. Let's do an undo here. Let's make a little smaller brush. You actually have a little paint well that you can work with. I guess that's close enough detailed work for right now. <laughs> and there we go. And that's the set. Now for those of you who don't believe me, that's what my father looks like. I think I have a uh, a father, my father's picture in here somewhere. Um, okay. This should prove to be interesting. Yes, here we go. Uh, can I also remind the director to check the tape that we're taping this on? Because it's only... Okay, then we're all set. And there we go. And I'm, I'm sure that he would appreciate that picture if he were here. So... I think you're lucky he's not. That's right. Now, you say, where does this come in? The size of a DCTV picture is very, very small. Mm -hmm. So we can actually compress and make animations with these pictures.
Hi, my name is Robin Kahn. Welcome to our telethon. We're certainly enjoying ourselves tonight, aren't yes, we? Yes, we certainly uh, are. Tonight we're going to have an exciting program for you. We're going to do two of our most favorite things. We're going to do a little astrology, and we're going to do some tarot card reading. Now, my mother, years ago, before we were all born, she decided that she had been living her life through astrology, and in her home, that was something that was not considered a deviation from the norm. So, Mother, tell everybody what you did with us. Yes, each time a child was born, I had their chart and drawn up. And this way, I was able to guide them throughout their childhood, adolescence, and uh, young adulthood, uh, guiding them as far as the sports to participate in, and the extra curricular activity that they should uh, join, and even their education. And I found that it helped them in their life and their lifestyle. Since I thought it was interesting to this day, people who live in India or China or Japan do that as a common occurrence. And when they meet someone that they're speaking with, uh, that they're interested in meeting, they have a chart drawn up. And we do something called a comparison chart, where we compare the planets, and we find out how compatible someone is before they get together. And Mother, you had a couple of questions that people had asked you earlier about yes. astrology. Uh, they are very interested in knowing uh, how astrology works and how it can help them in their life and how to avoid certain pitfalls if something negative were to come up in their chart. Okay, well this is where we believe that man is still master of his own fate. If you see a period coming up which we consider negative, then we know enough to be more careful. If something comes up that's very positive, then we know that's the time we should do business and we should socialize. Now, many people know they were born at a certain month and year, and they know what their sun sign is, but they don't know anything else about themselves. And this is the part my mother was telling me that confused a lot of people. Now, there are 12 different divisions of the zodiac, and this is what we're going to discuss tonight. We're going to do something a little more in-depth than what we do when we read a newspaper article. And some people find those newspaper columns are very accurate. And the reason is, is that they have many planets in the same sign as their sun. And others think they're not quite as accurate because they may have planets scattered all over the zodiac. So that makes them something else. And then we formulate mathematical calculations between the planets. So we find out what we call aspects. There are different types of aspects. And my mother in our class looks for aspects of times. And what that is, is a 60 degree aspect, and it points out opportunity. Now, as my mother mentioned, sometimes uh, children and young people are difficult to handle. So she would always say to me, oh, this is because you have a square in your chart in between these particular areas. So it wasn't a negative thing, it was something that she turned around to be positive because she could handle five teenagers at once um, very simply. We're going to do Heather, and she was born on January 16th. Okay, now Heather is in Capricorn. Her son is in Capricorn, so we're going to put her son right up here. And this makes her someone who's very ambitious. And I love Capricorn people. They're very interesting. Once they decide they're going to do something, nothing sways them. They're, they can be very ambitious. And even if they're dissuaded at one time, they continue. And sometimes with the sun in Capricorn, we sometimes get a little depressed or a little pessimistic. But that's to be expected. That's what makes them successful and get to where they want to go. Now let's take a look at Heather's moon. Her moon is 20 Aquarius. So the moon is right in the next sign, exactly. Okay, so her subconscious mind, or innermost thoughts, 
are sometimes unusual and different from what other people consider the norm. So these people are very, very creative. So, you know, we were discussing professions, as I said, all week. And that shows that if you're creative on the inside and you're working in these surroundings, it happens to make you more successful. Now, Mercury represents the mind and the mentality. And the Mercury is in Aquarius, too. So it's right near her moon. Okay, so again, this lady thinks in a very creative vein. She's not someone who would be satisfied doing this one average thing. She needs to do many different uh, areas or aspects. Now, Venus represents the emotions. And her Venus is also in Aquarius. Now, you see the difference between this chart and the last ones we were doing. A lot of this scattered all over the zodiac. This one is a very, even though her son is in Capricorn, she has, so far, has three other planets in Aquarius. So again, this shows extreme creativity. And when this lady, if we were working with her, we would say that she's doing what she should be doing in a creative line. That's what comes out of this. Now let's take a look at where the, moon, the Mars, aha, Mars is in Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So we're right, we're right down here. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Mars is in Scorpio. So when this lady does things, she's very intense. She will either do things one way or another. She wouldn't be satisfied with deviating just because someone told her something is black or white. There's no gray areas in this chart. This is a very strong chart. Now let's see. Jupiter is in Virgo. And we have our Virgo right over here. So she can also be very critical or analytical. And that's good when you have creativity because that makes you much more ambitious and it makes it a, a stronger, more logical type person. It tempers the creativity. Sometimes um, my mother and I look at charts and people are very creative and they have a lot of aspects of crime or, you know, opportunity and facility, but they don't have anything to temper that. So everything comes to them, but they don't work with what they get. So with this, she's able to work with it. Now, we're ready for Saturn, okay. Saturn is in Scorpio, so that's right there, okay. Now, remember what we said, Saturn is your lesson in life. Now, sometimes, this lady is a little too intense. She has to learn to temper that. You know, as I was saying, we like black and white. But sometimes, we need to have a few shades of gray. So we have to remember that. We can't be overly possessive or, you know, overly black or white. There are areas of gray. It's okay. Now, let's see. Her um, Neptune, which represents the dream, is also in Scorpio. So this, this lady is very creative, but she's very intense. <laughs> it's like the old-fashioned painters that we all love. Okay. Now, Pluto represents obsession, and Pluto is in Leo, and we're right over here, okay? So again, actually, working at the studio here is something that would be very good for you, too, because you have this ability to be out in the limelight and to work with these aspects and ideas. Now, we're going to do, some, we're going to do um, a few more charts, but I thought it would be interesting if we did a little with the tarot cards, too. So what we're going to do, we're going to, okay, I'll shuffle them. Mm -hmm. Okay, my mother is going to shuffle them. And what we're going to do is shuffle the cards. And when we work with the tarot cards, that's something that's uh, 
very, very old. It was used in Egypt, China, Tibet, all over the world. And actually, it brings out your innermost subconscious mind and mm. thoughts. Do we have a question? Okay. Sure, yes. I'm ready. Okay, we're going to do, uh, we're going to let people call in, and the next person to call is 846-3400 that would like to have their, their uh, what, what's the current candidate? Either. Either we can do the chart, or, you know yep. we can do the chart, and we've got some channel cards. Now, how, how does the channel cards work? What, what do you think you're going to do with me? Okay, well, we could do it here. What we have you right here. What we would have you do is it brings out what's inside of your subconscious mind. And okay, so we'll try. Okay, so what you would do, you would think of a question. We can write it down. It can be something private. It can be something you want to share with us. Sometimes people come in and they don't, you know, they don't really want to tell what the question is. So they can write it down. But sometimes people come in and they, they have a question about romance or about their career. Mm -hmm. So they can write it down and they shuffle the cards and they come out with it. So um, we can use a medium, okay. this is my mother, and she can shuffle the cards and we can have you also shuffle them as long as we have you here. Okay. And what we're going to do, a uh, different method. We've done a few programs, and we use a method where we have many cards, a different type of spread. And I thought, well, we could do a few extra. We could use a different spread where we just use three cards. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That's good to make. So um, I'll tell you what. Why don't you think, we'll just take this top card off, and I'll have you just think of a question. Okay. If you, would you like to tell us what it is? Um, do I have to play with it? No. Okay. We'll see if we, we want to figure it out. I should do, I should write that down and then uh, we can do it in yeah. the Okay. Uh, what am I going to take? What are those? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to write on the back of this. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have him choose three cards from my mother. And one card will represent the past. And one card will represent the present. And one card, we'll try to figure out what the future is. Okay, so we'll see. Back, yeah. okay, okay, thank you. Right, so, right now, so now, you're going to shuffle the cards shuffle again. The card. mm -hmm. okay. Just any which way? Any which way. Okay, because I don't play cards normally. No problem. Alright, okay. so you can shuffle these here. You can shuffle them. Okay. And then, I want you to give my mother Three cards from anywhere in the deck. Any three cards. Any three cards. Any three cards. Alright. Uh, okay. 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 And it's a special meaning. I'm going to give this one to me to get many means ago. And this first card in this particular reading is going to represent the past circumstances about this question. Okay. So let's turn it over and see what we have. Okay? We have the devil. So that means <laughs> this question or this thought is something the what's surrounding this thought is something that might have happened in the past that had um, kind of a, a negative or not the happiest type of background okay. for you. Yep. Okay. Now, I want you to choose card number two. Now, this will be the card for... This will represent your present circumstances surrounding this idea. Make it a good one. Take it. All right. And let's see what we have here. Okay, and the angel. Okay, what's interesting about this is, this is two different aspects. You know, we always say something being black or white. This is the angel. Okay, so the present circumstances, the thought or the, what's surrounding this question is turned around completely. Whatever it is, it's become more positive. 
Okay. What it is that you're trying to work with is more positive and you've been able to turn around the negativity which surrounded this initial question. Okay. Now, another. Okay. okay. This will, yeah. And this, we'll just discuss quickly what, what the future may hold for you. The future. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. The stars. Okay. Now, what this means is the stars represent what's in your subconscious mind, your innermost feelings, your thoughts. So you've gone from something that's very negative in whatever it was, you've turned it around to something positive, and if you continue working in this particular area of, of how you turned it around, it will be something that will work out exactly as you want. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah, so okay. if you're, okay, so if you're planning thoughts, well, you know, I always tell the truth. You know, because when someone comes in, you have to be honest with them, and you're still master of your own faith, just like the astrology and other things that we do. You are always in control. But if you know that something is coming up that's positive or that's very up and you have opportunity, and then you take advantage of it, you become much more successful. So, you know, whatever this is, it's successful. And the reason that we have people write down what the question is so that you can formulate it and your thoughts really go out into the ether, that's what we believe. And, you know, someone had been mentioning to me in the other room, well, um, you know, something about doing your own card. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my answer to that is you can do your own, except sometimes we all have a tendency to want something mm -hmm. or, you know, just want it so much that you see things in color. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. You know, do you want to share with us what it is? Or should we give yeah, you a secret? Okay, let's go. Put up your whole kick lead upside down. Mm -hmm. I said, will I find true love was my question. And anybody who knew me last year and who I was going out with would know that the devil probably was, was right up there. And the person that I'm with presently, that is the turn around. Mm -hmm. I'm much more positive. I'm not very mm -hmm. bitter anymore. And it, it is working positive towards the future. So that, exactly. that was good. Okay, I'm going to give you this. Okay. And I'm going to go over, I'm going to walk over the phone now. Okay. And the next person who calls me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to ask the question. Okay. And now, what we do, we need to keep them on the line. Yeah, and you can ask them uh, what they want to do. My mother will be the medium through which we'll do this. Okay. She'll shuffle the cards and she'll pick up their thoughts. And you'll tell us what the question is. We, you know, if someone's over the phone, we won't say who they are. They can use the first right. name if they want. But we need to know what the question is. And we need to keep them on the line to do that. Okay. 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 Oh, this is really interesting. Yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. you, you know, we didn't know, as your mother and I were saying earlier, it's so amazing. Even if you don't know something, you can still open mm -hmm. up. And if you get a better idea of what to do. I can ask someone. Okay. Mm -hmm. And their name is Ryan. And Ryan's question is, will we be a famous actor within a year? Within a year? No. Let's see. All right. Let's see what we have in that. Um, my mother... Yeah, tell them we have to concentrate on that, and my mother is going to choose three cards. So while he's on the line, he has to think very strongly about that, and she's going to concentrate on his question, and she's going to shuffle the cards, and then we'll see what we can do with that interpretation. But it's not too specific. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Right. okay. What came up? was the two, what came up was the two of cups, okay? Now these were the circumstances that surrounded his question initially. So, he was very passionate about what he was doing in the past, 
in people with this particular aspect to this particular card are capable of doing a great deal of acting. Because when you can experience emotions, you can emote and people can understand what you're doing. So in the past, if this gentleman studied this, this would be a good area to go into. Now, let me choose the second card. Let's do this top card. Mm -hmm. That's all right. All right. And we have a three of cups. Okay, so this is his, the present circumstances surrounding the card. Now, we didn't stack the deck. This just comes up random. You, you just don't know what will come up. I never know. Okay, and on this one here, the three of cups, again, that shows emotion. And it shows working hard through disappointment. And presently, you may be rescued by an opportunity which may come along. Now, I want you to give me a third card. And let's see. All right. Now, what we have is the nine of cups. And it just so happened to come up because she shuffled the deck. Clearly. And he can have a great deal of success. If this card was reversed, and it was handed to me this way, then we would know that he had strife and it wouldn't be able to come to him as easily. So whatever he's doing presently, working on this, is capable of coming forward. Okay? So he should continue doing what he is doing. Keep, keep, keep on plugging, keep on persevering. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was that was, that was very positive. Yeah, that was excellent. Oh, okay. Seven oh seven. I gotta find out who this is here. Alright, so seven oh seven now. All I gotta do is return the base. I've fulfilled my mission. Fifteen thousand feet. And now I'm gonna try. My mission was just to, to uh, find out what ship that was and I did. Seven oh seven. Don't know whose it is or why, but yeah. you want me to kill it? Is that, what, is that what you decided I should go and get it? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay. All right, if you'll turn my volume off so I can concentrate here.
and it's kind of funny in some of them. They are decided on one to do it, so we can move on to the next one. You can show how to make a 86 cover in the ground. Okay?
What do you think that the fact that the girl in the cat now is holding next to the face that likes that? Thank you. 
and enjoy some superb poetry by some of the many wonderful people that are here this evening. And first we have Bill, who will be reading the poetry, and the poetry is the misplaced. So without further ado, Bill reading the misplaced. Awaken, Jasper, stay quick to him, consider him being tough. And when she was once born, the picture that I call my existence, and now she was gone. I take the call to my son. He brings it over, lays it down on the table. The substitute for all that is lost. Taking the wire is gentle. He plugs it into the console as I look on, excited and ready to He puts the eye up into the back of my television and the power comes out. The power screen appears on. The word Sega are on my TV. Sega. I feel my heart leap. My emotions jump. My feelings stir. Yet, is this my replacement for the feelings now? I know she's out there somewhere, and I long to touch every inch that I would deny. My knowledge of her are all too sweet. My time is her all too short. And in its place, I am her. I can say, six buttons are some substitute to the six touches of areas that I have meant to know. Denied to me. I feel everything as I play the game. As I press each button and do each move, each fatality is meaningless. Each victory means nothing. As the characters I pick are only faint atrocity to the gangsters inside me. The woman that I love is only in my dream. And yet, I sit here, laugh, joke Smiling at my son, I inside every piece of him, thank you, sir. The Sega is my only joy. The Sega is my escape. The Sega is my sanctuary. My place where all the pain goes away. The eye of the beckon with every moment. The second it is unplugged and put away. My own depression takes me hostage. And I stay and I'm there. It kills me. I take her to the next meeting with that girl. I take her to the next time I meet someone new that can light that flame. Until that time I wait, in pain, hoping for my friend to bring a soda and for that girl to step out of my dream and into my life. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, you have, you, you have had some help to participate in this, this opening of our hearts. You're going to be able to judge us here. The next five callers will be able to call in and judge that hand on a scale from one to five. And the winner of tonight's competition will get a wonderful prize that you're not going to tell you about. So for the next five calls, please call us now at 46-3400. Can I take the numbers? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you tell them the first two numbers in now? The next five calls. Can you get those calls? Coming up next, we'll be shy. Can you get those numbers now? I'm glad that you can tell the jury that's coming up because I still see a good point in time. This is... Time, to make it time, people are helping. You know, I'm going to find out what those numbers are in just one second. Yes, that's the number you have this time. A three and a five. I say, three more people can call. The young are unsecured. Young is bad, bad is good. That's what you can think, I'm sorry. 
one of my daddy's good in class now. And it's four six, 3400, and wait. Okay, so you go to the now. Do my cards today. Here, and at the end of the day. I'm going to get you a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit yeah. Uh, you can hand it up, please. You can get custom money for me. Okay. That time got a swim. A swim is a five. Mm -hmm. A two, a five, and a four. Uh, and now what I'm going to do, our uh, next piece of testing, the time to get up for you for those of you who can't talk. You will turn it to the second day, and then it's good, and then it's done. Yeah, 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 but I like to eat, 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 and I like to eat. I have to make that money, I have to make that the egg, but... I don't think that the egg is there. It, uh, it's an untitled time. It was written by a woman friend who was eating these guys right before he died. They found it on his body, and they... I mean, I did a petition on an echo sign. Yeah, I didn't have an echo sign. He was just telling me he had written to the sister. He didn't tell me that. Tell my sister not to beat for me. Just grab and have him head. You want to keep him in hand. I'm going to go and get. Just tell him to get him. Get him tired and step outside. Or if nothing was the case of two. You're not afraid to die. Okay, so you can have the egg. You can have the egg. Thank you very much. And I have another chance to judge some family members. Died in great fantastic Friday. Young age. Hey, this is Daddy in the mid high. Uh, I think he's high up now. At 846, 3400. And you can judge our post. So you're the post here. I'm going to go back to the FMI store, Winthrop Community Access Television. The next five times I'm going to turn to judge the poetry. Remember, Winthrop Community Access Television is access. I mean, let's just break that down for a second. Winthrop Community Access Television. I think it's not going to be that. It's access television for the community. And that's what we're here, and that's what it's all about. Now we're just going to sit behind the time and say, it's a great shot. I'd like to take compliments. Some of you are saying, let's compliment you again. But the important part of it is that you can come down to Winthrop, to your next six times, and you can be part of our family, or not part of our family, however you feel. Or you can help fund it by becoming a sustaining member for Sunny Dial. And you can just mail it into Young 65 Winthrop Street in Winthrop. Do you have that card in the book? I think we do. Do you have that card in the book? Can I see those things? <laughs> We have a two, a young, a young, a young, and a five. Is that not a split card? Hey! 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 Hey, how you doing? Um, 
This is a pen. Damn it, I actually ate it. It's out of my ass. Yeah. See, now this type of skeleton, uh, it's, it's something that I ate. Ate, 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 yeah, ate, 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 Nine in a king. The king can face is there. The body is like his tail. But do not look to me. I have expired. I have Then I may not live and my second spear dies. It is not I who weep. It is my life. He cries. Thank you. Here's your name. Hey man, hey! Hey very much. It's your first day for a Thank you. 
I was only with them by me, but what if, and truth of the matter, they're all vessels in the sea of other thoughts, right? So here we go. This is the preface. Even Calgary has got the blues. Amoeba leaves no fossils. They haven't any bones. No teeth, no bell peckers, no wedding rings. It is impossible, therefore, to determine how long Amoeba had been on Earth. Quite possibly they had been here since the, con the curtain opened. Amoeba may even have dominated the stage early in the first act. On the other hand, they may have come into existence only three years, a few days, a few minutes before they were discovered by Antoine of Ahold in 1674. It can't be proven either way. One thing is certain, however, because the new baby produced by the vision, endlessly, passing everything on yet giving up nothing, the first thing new that ever lived is still alive. They're the four billion years old and only two hundred. Who is she? is still with us today. Yeah? Yeah. The first Amoeba may be floating on his or her back in a luxurious pool in Hollywood, California. The first Amoeba may be hiding among the, the cocktail roots and peepers in the muddy shallows of Sea Wash Lake. The first Amoeba may recently have dripped down your leg. And it is pointless to speculate. The first Amoeba, like the last and the one after that, is here there and everywhere. So its vehicle, its medium, its essence is water. And water is the worst of elements. Water dives in the clouds of our parachute and leaves a safety net. Water runs over the steepest precipice and blinks not a lot. Water is buried and rises again. Water walks on fire and fire gets the blisters. Fire is really composed in any situation, solid, gas, or liquid. Speaking and penetrating dialects understood by all things, animal, vegetable, and mineral. Water travels intrepidly in four dimensions, sustaining. Take a letter from the field and it will yell water. Destroying, the best boy's finger remembered the view from Adela, and creating. It has ever been said that human beings were invented by water as a device for transporting itself from one place to another, but that's another story. Always in motion, ever flowing, whether it's steam rate or glacial speed, rhythmic, dynamic, ubiquitous, changing and working with changes, and mathematics turned wrong side out in philosophy and reverse. The ongoing odyssey of water is virtually irresistible, and wherever water goes, the Nuba go along the ride. Mrs. Honshaw once caught a parakeet to her type. There's not much in that line she could see for a new book. But the test of peace as a passenger, as well for its near perfect resolution of sexual tensions, the amoeba is still by pertaining the official mascot of even Calgary's got the blues. And to the first amoeba, wherever it may be, even Calgary's got the blues would like to say happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, amoeba. Thank you. Coming up next to the dark. And uh, that's something that I've heard that I've been looking forward to. If you want to know, I want to call 846-3500 and help us judge for the car for today. So 846-3500. Now, coming up after this, we're going to be even more believing or not. But we're going to be doing this some more in the next 15 minutes, putting it out on the air, drawing some pictures. And then we're going to have an in car. We're actually going to ask you to call in, give us some ideas. And then I do improvisational tips for you guys right down there. We've got some other stuff coming up, and of course, as it gets later and later, we're heading up to a sleep deprivation theater. And what happens when a number of people who get up for 24 hours or more, and let to do a table stuff. And you get to find out for yourself. I feel there's scores coming up, how many scores can we have? We have two so far. We have two, but come on, my pilot's time was... Yeah. It was good, it was long, but it was good as well. It got me good. So you want to call now and tell us what you think. Winthrop Community Action Television. Okay, you've got three numbers. 
Get out there and try. You got a chance to know there's a lot of people trying and not a whole bunch of lines you wait up for two minutes to get out. You try to get you in to get two now. Coming up next. Is he going to go on the boat? Okay. Okay. Give me that note again. All right. Talk about the number two. The number two. All right. Give me that number two. All right. The car is perfect. The car, I think it should be best if you're over here. No, no, no. Get it. Get it. All right. Then go to day. Okay. The car. Yeah. It is. The fact is, this is the doctor's world that we are living in. Let me tell you. Okay. Yeah. You have uh, a young, yeah? A young, man. Uh, a young, nothing to do with it. A child, don't be dead young. And a young. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you do. Alright. Now we're going to have Jack at the beginning, just a moment. Okay. Alright. So now we're going to have Brother Jack come over to you for the youth time. Jack. Thank <laughs> you. 